Loneliness Can't kill me, darling ah. Loneliness Can't kill me, baby Loneliness ah. Can't kill me, darling Odo ye we Obe mare we kum sun sun Odo ye we Ali be mare we kum sun sun Odo ye we me come darling bo, over my rower come soon soon. Oh tia come oh, come oh. Out of my rower come soon soon. Oh tia come oh, what? Out of my rower come soon soon. Oh tia come oh, come oh. Out of my rower come soon soon. Oh tia come on. Yeah, ah. Genuine, I ain't no more than they say. Say, ah, many words I ain't feel watching me. Cause I'm in a war, bro. And I need a can so many feet. Me say me ne wa ne ko afe. I brought you a queen to moon sem. Me who when you might just have video call. And you meant it one time, fra. And all that makes me miss you more. I brought you a queen to moon sem. Me who when you might just have video call. And you meant it one time, fra, and all that makes me miss you. Oh, Samante won't come, or a man for a cat. Can I say, I don't have to be on a rich and won't come. Samante won't come, or a man for a cat. Oh, dear, where do you have to be more baby? Be more baby, where do you have to be more? Tofu wakana, iti dabena ubeba. Oh, ade, meja woda fu wakana. Tofu wakana, iti dabena ubeba. But my voice not saying you. How are you doing, Che? Che nyum. Hey, Charlie, how long have you been doing this? I see a lot of songs from you. I see Damebi, I see uh, Somuye, I see Akonoba. Is that it? A lot of songs from you, but I, I've never heard the name uh, Chenyum. Okay, so you heard it today. Yes, definitely <laughs> I'm hearing it today. And I'm sure a lot of people who have listened to you perform have been really impressed and they want to know who you are. Tell us more about yourself. Okay, so my name is... Daniel Chiado. So this is your microphone. Is oh, it okay. singing microphone and your talking microphone okay. as well? So my name is Daniel Chiado. Uh -huh. And then stage name is Che Nyom. Okay. Che is my name and Nyom music is uh -huh. what I do. And the music journey started for me, just like most people at the very tender age, mm. uh, in church. I see. And then I was singing and I perfected it when I entered into senior high school, Accra Academy. That was where I learned how to play the acoustic guitar. A friend okay, wow. of mine helped me out. He's called Nathaniel. And so afterwards, uh, I came, taught for a while, and then entered Hitmaker. You taught? Yeah. Mm. Uh, before entering into Hitmaker season five. After Hitmaker season five, I went to school, UCC, completed this year. And then ever since, even when I was in school, I was playing so, some gigs and then oh, wow. releasing some songs. Yes, yeah, I see you do a lot of uh, Lumba songs, you know, this morning. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, are we having another deal of fun in the building? Definitely. Definitely so. And, but things think are talking about how you did a reality show and went back to school. Um, what, why didn't you just, okay, now that I've 
tested what it is like to be in the limelight. Let me just stick here and do more music and get famous and then make money. Okay, well, that is what I wanted to do. Mm. But my old girl wouldn't permit me. Oh. You know, she's an educationist herself. Mm. And so she felt it's necessary that I just acquire the tertiary education. And when I'm done, I have the freedom to do whatever I can do. So once I'm done, I believe now. The way you say she, she, she says you should just acquire the tertiary education. Yeah. It means that you yourself now own fan No, she needed it more. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> she needed it more. So you, yeah, you, you, you're not even bothered about the certificate oh, anymore. Oh, not really. But let's, let's talk about what you, you're going to do because I say you have a lot of songs out there. Yeah. Um, what are you going to do? Because people hardly know Chenyu. Yes, you have a platform. But tell them what you want to do with this craft that you have. Okay, so uh, definitely to... Uh, influence uh, the society in which I live because uh, I draw inspiration from my environment. Things that mm. happen around me, be it relationship, be it, you know, anything at all. So once I get to see what's around me, it inspires me to do music. And mm. so I expect my music to uh, sink down the memories of people and then I should go down the lane as one of the, you know, greatest musicians and also make some cash, obviously. Make some cash, obviously. Yeah. So you go around with your guitar. Yeah, most of the time I... Mm play gigs at hotels, weddings, uh, different events. Once you call me, I'll be there to deliver. Once they call you, before I let you put out your number for them to call you, tell me how, you know, exciting and, of course, lucrative it is to be doing these gigs. Well, uh, I think that just like any artist at all, the bigger your brand, the bigger the paycheck. So uh, I, I'm, I'm not like a very new artist, but I'm still, you know, picking up. Uh, so I think for now it's manageable. Mm. But we're still uh, inspired that it's going to get quite bigger as I release some songs. Once I have a major breakthrough, then I believe that when you call me, you need to check your pocket before you. Mm -hmm. uh, when are you going to have that major breakthrough? Uh, it could come anytime, mm. I believe. Yeah, but you've released year. a lot of songs. What's denying you that? Well, I believe once you're doing it alone, it's more difficult. You're in the industry, so you know mm. the challenges it comes along with when you say alone yeah. as a single artist or what, what what does it mean when you say alone yes yeah, so as a single artist when mm. you are recording your own songs with your own money mixing mm. and mastering having these video shoots with your own money having to promote it on the guitar platforms on tv on radio on the street uh, when you are doing it alone or when you are doing it without the help of any external source like that it's quite difficult but then we're still pushing. Are there some sources who are interested in you know, working with musicians these days? I hardly hear of any. <laughs> you don't? I hardly hear of any. For, for me, uh, apart from the Lynx family, highly spiritual, rough, uh, town. rough town, who else? Where are they? <laughs> I believe some of them are there, mm. but they are not record labels. Some of them are just investors. Mm. So they sit down with you, they draw a plan with you. And then they look for hands that are very experienced in the industry. And then they push the money to them and then they are able to get you through. Mm. So they are still there, just that not all of them have tagged themselves with the name a record label. Mm. So mm. they are still there. It's just quite difficult to find them. That is why you're not here. Uh, because I was going to ask you, so what have you found <laughs> any? Because it's quite difficult. Maybe... Uh, Miss G will be willing to do it henceforth. Well, I, I wish I had what it took because, like, you sing so well Thank and you. beautifully. And somebody like you, will, if we put our money in, we will not waste it. Not at all. You know, even the wedding gigs crowd will be able to foot you some see. bills, you know. <laughs> you know. But also, talking about these people, don't you think that sometimes it is a need for us also to advertise ourselves as people who are looking for, you know, these hands? Not well, they always looking for people to yeah, invest so, in. So that is perfect. That is what I'm doing. That is why I'm on New Day. I've been on a couple of platforms singing. Mm. I've been at weddings. I've been at events. I'm always singing, mm. you know. But then some of the platforms, it will take some time before they get you on. Uh, it will take some time. Like being on New Day, I think God bless uh, Sissy Cookie for putting me okay. on. Okay. You know, he, she helped me out. And then it's quite difficult getting to meet these people. You don't meet them on the regular. You need to be at events, some programs, mm -hmm. you get connected. So I think that is what we are going through now. But it's a process. You can only trust the process and... Just keep doing what you do. Definitely trust the process. Did you do any of your songs? Yeah, the last song. The last song is yes, yours. What's the title of that one? Well, I haven't found the title. You haven't found the title. So Amazing. it's not something that is on the market yet? No. Oh, it's not? It's, it's on my upcoming EP, which is still in the studio, but we'll be dropping it next month. Okay. So how, talk, let's talk about the EP briefly. Thank you. You know, what, what and what are we expecting on that? Okay, so I have seven songs on the EP. I've dropped one off the EP. That is the Somuye you mm -hmm. saw. The Somuye is a single of the EP. Uh, we have a video out there as well. We are still promoting it on all the platforms that we can. Uh, in October, which is next month, 
we are going to release the whole song, uh, the whole EP. But I would like to drop a particular song with a video, then I, I initiate the whole EP into the system. That is what I, my team and I have decided mm. to do. So probably in the middle of this month, I'll be dropping that. And then definitely when we enter October, the whole EP. The whole yeah. EP, hopefully in October. Name is Saw, the Saw EP. A sword or saw. S O A R. Saw. Okay, soaring. <laughs> oh, okay, it sounded some like something in my oh, ear. Yes. You know, not the like, uh -huh. <laughs> So that's why I was like, hey, you know, like soaring. Okay, yeah, so saw, so, so saw so, EP. Yeah. Okay, all right. So you have Bella and Cookie also joining oh. the conversation. Uh, uh, thank you so much for coming through, Chenu. You, uh, you want to leave your number so that those who want to book you for gigs well, also. Uh, not number. Social media so, handle. Hey, you want your number? <laughs> there are <laughs> old men who are working. They don't do Any social job, media. Any number at least. Put a number okay. there that they can. Call no, you no problem. Uh, 057-191-0541. Uh, let me take it again. 057-191-0541. Uh -huh. <laughs> and also, social media platforms, Chenyum, K-Y-E-I underscore N-W-M, on Facebook, on Instagram. On Twitter, it's at Che Official. Thank mm, you very much. Yeah, that song mm. that you performed from um, Oforian Bonsa. Yeah. Damn, maybe. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. my God. It, it, it just gave me memories. Because I remember that was a whole album, and that album was really yeah, solid. It was very solid. So we used to play back to back when I was young. My dad liked it. So, <laughs> yeah, it just took me back to that moment. So you have to perform it on my wedding day for me. Hey. Good to see Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> There's a special story about this guitar. I wish we had time for him to tell you yeah. where he got this guitar from, but you will not believe where it's coming from. <laughs> it's coming all the way from the UK, from one of the most powerful musicians in the world. You want to tell the story in two seconds? Yeah, well, it's passenger yeah yeah you know only do that song only, only the light when it's burning low. he sent you this yes yeah. oh wow yeah a friend of mine we were uh, at the hostel and then he is a very big fan of passenger and the passenger was giving out guitars mm -hmm. and then when my friend got to the comments seems he had already finished but he sent a text like oh i'm from africa i'm probably never going to get this guitar you know that was that was smart. <laughs> that was smart. <laughs> that was smart. And then he got it for and you. Like, oh, I finished sharing it, but don't worry. Give me your details. And then he sent it. Aww. When we opened it, we realized that it was like a note. And this is my personal one. You can have it. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. This is really nice. So this is from Passenger. So did you perform a rendition of a song to send to him just so he sees that? Well, it wasn't you got mine. It was for my friend and I. Oh, I get it, but I mean, it would have been nice to still this. send him a video well, to show. I mean, it's not too late. We could. Still you didn't do that. You should have oh done that. Oh my God! <laughs> you should my have done that. My concern is why you didn't blow it out of proportion. Yeah. This yeah. should have been news all over. Well, you know, uh, that people would have launched on to actually also get you out there. Well, when it happened, I think I was still in school. No, but it was still then, still have been. Well, because it would have projected <laughs> you some more. It would. It mm. would. But most of the time. Well, it's I not too exposure. late. Exposure. It's not too late. You can do it. So you can do it. You, you can do you it now. Can do it, but yeah. guys, let's talk about what's happening this October. <laughs> and yes, we're traveling to Dubai and it's for the International Business Expo. But that's not all. I mean, for those of you who also want to go have fun, this is that opportunity for you. So you can go secure new business opportunities and go relax as well. Uh, and of course, that means that you're knocking on the right door, which is Carefront Travel and Tour. We're ready to take you on a fun and business trip to Dubai from the 18th of October to the 25th of October and it's going for just 7,600 Ghana cities if you want to fly Emirates and if you want to go with Ethiopian Air it's 6,900 Ghana cities only. So you want to know who's coming with you? Well, thank you very much. I'm yes, coming. I will be going on that trip. Yes, we'll take Cookie along in spirit <laughs> and in truth. But yes, we're going to have a lot of fun. There are so many places that we'll be visiting aside attending the International Business Expo. Uh, there'll be a Dubai City Tour. We'll also visit the Observatory at the Palm Fountain and the Dal Cruise at Marina. And of course, you cannot go to Dubai without visiting the desert safari and there'll be some barbecue and a lot of you know waist dancing and all that <laughs> so please join us let's go on this trip i know for some of you maybe you'd have hoped that you'd have gone earlier but this is the right time for you so 0244 388-044. Again, 0244-388-044. Now call these numbers and book your place now before the 1st of October. And so catch myself at Dubai or in Dubai this October, partnered by Emirates and Ethiopian Airline, and it's brought to you proudly by Carefront Travel and Tour. You can find them on social media as well, and you can get all those details from my page at Bella Mundi. I've posted a few of the flyers, but also visit Carefront, uh, Carefront Travel and Tour also on IG and Facebook.
Facebook and you get all the details. Okay, okay just so on birthday wishes. Uh, happy birthday to Citizen Mina. May God favor and protect you. Long life and prosperity from Henry Amu uh, from here at our MCR. And uh, happy birthday to Linda Elik Plim Achicho of Standard Bank, uh, Standard Chartered Bank Customer Service Ring Road. Grow in lot, the Lord's favor and more blessings. Okay. Okay, um, there's also something from Rachel Cole for you, especially if you are an upper primary, junior high or senior high student living right here in Ghana. This is a time to share your love for Coco and stand the chance to win a share of the 100,000 Ghana CDs and cash prizes and educational supplies in the second edition of the Rachel Cole Mornings in Ghana essay competition. Now, this is what you do, or this is what you have to know. The top essays in each category will win 10,000 Ghana CDs cash and another 10,000 CDs in educational materials to their respective schools now all four runners four runner ups in each category get to win cash prices as well bear that in mind as you participate in write an essay addressing the minister of lands and natural resources on the effect of illegal mining on cocoa farms and stating the importance of cocoa to Ghanaians. now the essay should be in your own handwriting of course endorsed by a parent or a guardian or a class teacher now you have to attach either 10 empty packs of rich 200 grams or one empty pack of 500 grams or one empty pack of one kilograms to your handwritten essay and drop off at all the entry points now here's where you can drop them Eastern Region in Koforidia Post Office. You can do that. Tafo Post Office, Melcom Outlets in Koforidia, Koforidia 2 and in Koko in the Bono Region, Teshima and Melcom. These are all places that you can drop your entries. Or you can also mail your entries to the Richoko National Essay Competition, P.O. Box AF851, Adenta, Accra. Now, remember that the closing dates for submission is the 30th of September 2021. So please visit the Cadbury Ritual Facebook and Instagram pages for more details. But please remember the terms and the conditions do apply to this very competition. So ladies, are we done here? I'm done. Okay, Che, you have to take us home. Now maybe passengers on. We can well, send the message to you. <laughs> so, like, so oh, he yes. hasn't played his yet. No, he just oh, wants some Yeah, okay, so let go him ahead. Him so. No, okay. Genie, <laughs> Oh, see, I'm missing, baby. I won't see as I want, my dear. I come at it. Oh, pack off for what's it? And I, 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 who was the council show when in deep? Oh, see, I'm missing, baby. I won't see as I want, my dear. I come at you. Found Sato, Mensayam. Jimmy, I'm not mini, which you're gonna slow. And I am very intent. You're gonna slow motion. Slow motion.